Hey, hey, Ryan Lee with Planet Cheapskate popping on here for our weekly rate update so you know exactly what the rates are going to look like going into the weekend. I uh, am re-recording this because I recorded the whole thing without any sound. So second time's the charm. Hopefully it's pretty polished this time and it'll be an enjoyable viewing experience for you because there's nothing that I love more than to do these twice. So with that said, hopefully you crushed your goals this weekend and you did not forget to turn on your mic like I did. So uh, good luck to my realtor partners out there. I uh, hope you have an awesome, awesome and great weekend showing houses. Maybe you're doing an open house. Maybe you are going to a listing showing some of your clients. I am here to help if you need any pre-approvals. If you have buyers out there that are asking you questions about lending that you just don't know the answer for, I'm available. 316-744-5819. I will answer your question. You can send me a DM on Facebook. I'll type it out. Send it to you so you can answer that question for them. You want to go above and beyond with your service always, and I do too. I'm a good partner with you like that. So I'm also going to be out this weekend doing the Weekend Warrior program. I'm going to go to about five open houses this Saturday. So if you're out there and you're doing an open house, let me know. I may stop by, bring a little realtor survival kit with me, and uh, you know, just let you know about what I'm able to offer with you, Mortgage. Uh, the market here, local here in Wichita, Kansas, has been really, really liking what we bring to the table. So I want to spread the message and share it with more realtors out there. And if you have a lender who's been putting your people through the ringer, uh, just can't get the job done, I want to have a discussion because I think I can help you out. So with that said, I want to ask a question for my subscribers, my viewers, maybe a realtor partner out there or two. What do you look for in a loan officer? Are you looking for someone who's going to get you the super, super low rate, maybe the easiest process? Maybe it's just someone that you can really, really trust. You know they're going to get the job done. Or is it maybe speed to close? You know, that's something that's really resonated here in this market that no one else has really brought to the table uh, that we're kind of known for. We're the fastest lender in town. My average clear to close for my branch is 13 days, and we guarantee guarantee 22 days for most borrowers. So hyper fast process. I think we're a pretty good process. We have good communication through the whole thing. Every step of the way, you're going to get a notification on where you're at in the process and, and what's going on. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments, DM me, let me know what you look for. If you're a realtor out there, let me know what your partner brings to the table that you really, really like. Uh, because I'm trying to just kind of perfect my message and I want to know what I can improve in my own business and then, you know, take it out and uh, see if the market responds. So appreciate that. Now, I wanted to do the rate update, but I won't, before I go into the rate update, I want to give a little explanation of my rates. These are not rates that you can go to your bank, credit union, uh, a retail lender out there and get. These are rates that I get by making 50 of the most competitively priced banks compete all over the United States. I got some here local in the Midwest. I got some East Coast, West Coast. I send out a basic borrower, someone looking to borrow $250,000. They have a 700 credit score, and this is for a 30-year fixed, 30-day lock, and not charging any points. So these can be beat, but how much? That's the important question you need to ask, you know. And so uh, that's kind of where I'm at with that. Uh, let's kind of see what we got going on here. I, I was watching this weekend, I was watching Letterman, and I like how he does his like little presentation where he's like, ladies and gentlemen, in my right hand, I have this week's top 10 list or tonight or, you know, whatever. I thought it was pretty funny. So maybe I need to do a little bit more pomp and circumstance whenever I present these rates. I was thinking about doing that. So uh, let me know about that. So without further ado, let's get right to these rates. They are not good. Jerome Powell did not, uh, was not a homie this week. So they met last week, but this week they released their, uh, their minutes, their notes on the meeting. And, you know, they were talking like little schoolgirls about like what they needed to do. And the market did not like it one bit because they're saying like, Hey, we, we may need to hike a bunch of times more. And so inflation's already going down. And it's like what they're looking for is they said they don't think there's going to be a recession, but they're worried about inflation creeping up. Well, infl inflation is like, you know, two, 
three percent uh so it's like way lower than it was and so it's it's coming down the market's responding our forward indicators that we're looking at are telling us that it's going to continue to go down without them manipulating things uh, too terribly much so like what they do is they want the rates to be high enough that where if things were looking bad that they could basically lower rates to try to fuel the economy and i think the rates are already high enough to where they could do that I would ideally like to see mortgage rates around four, five, six percent. I feel like that's a good balanced uh, number for us. Now we were spoiled with the two, the three percent. You know, we may not see that again unless we have you know some trouble in our economy, which you know could happen. But uh, a normal good, I feel like good rates for us are in the you know four, five, six percentile. Um, so I think they're pushing it a little bit too far, but hey, they get paid more than I do. So all I can do is kind of be an observer with with you and just we got to manage whatever we manage, right? So without further ado, let's get right to these rates here in my right hand. <laughs> so without further ado, conventional, 7.5 with an APR of 7.800. FHA is at 7.125 with an APR of 7.852. VA is at 7.125 with an APR of 7.342. USDA is at 7.125 with an APR of 7.578. So that is the rate. Conventionals stayed pretty flat, and FHA, VA, and USDA are up a little over a quarter of a percent. So that is the rates. And yeah, answer my question. What are you looking for in an LO? Are you looking for the lowest of the low rates? If that's the case, you need to work with a broker. Uh, a lot of times it's hard to find a true broker and there's a lot of misconception out there. A lot of, I see it mostly in retail, not necessarily in banks and credit union loan officers. They kind of know what they are and they, they, they see their stripes and they call it like it is. They get enough walk-in business that they don't need to worry about like tending to be a broker that, uh, you know, most people, they feel like, Hey, when they need to go borrow money, they're going to go where they take money. Not necessarily the case. But yeah, with more retail loan officers, I see them trying to kind of paint on the broker stripes and portray that they're a broker when they're not really a broker. So if you're looking for the lowest of the low when it comes to rates, you need to ask them, are you a true broker? Do you shop around with multiple lenders or are you just representing one lender? Okay, a true broker is going to represent your best interest, not that financial institution they work for. Independent broker doesn't work for financial institutions. So uh, answer that question. Let me know what you're looking for. I'm very, very curious about that. Other than that, everybody have a happy and safe weekend. And I will see you on the other side.